Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at some basic collision stuff uh, for Pixie. Now, the preface this is that Pixie is a graphics library. It does not have uh, a collision uh, library at all or a collision function within itself. So there isn't anything like that. So we'll have to provide our own. So with this, let's, start, let's get started. We have a basic stub over here. Uh, once again, this is my uh, basic stub with just a uh, app uh, that's been initialized and placed into the body. Uh, I have a player. Uh, the object that's created and it basically uses this player image, the player PNG, and sets itself to the center of the screen. So we'll alter this a little bit, and of course, we'll need something for the player to collide with. So let's get started. So let's just go and create an enemy this time. So, enemy. And let's just do something simple. We'll just move the uh, this guy off to the. Um, hmm. Let's move him to the, the left. So we'll say just. Uh, we'll make it. Uh, Let's see, it was a little 16, because that should get them to the, uh, well, that's a center point, it's 32. It's 32, no, wait, 16 is right we want. So 16 pixels on the X, and we'll leave him in the center that way. We'll add him to the stage. And then we'll create our enemy. Enemy, why don't you just copy and paste this, actually, it'd be easier. Do this, paste this here, and Control D. And uh, it was this enemy, and I just changed this one by accident. This should just be player. I know it's not exciting, you should probably have another graphic for the enemy, but we'll just do this for now. And we'll set this person on the other side of the screen. So app.view.width minus the minus 16, because I know that the, the sprite is 32 pixels in width. All right, so then we add the enemy to the stage. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. So we'll save this, we'll run our live server, and there we are. So there's two guys on the opposite sides of the screen. So let's still and make them move all right so we'll just simply put do a uh, event loop here so we will uh, add our event let's so app dot uh, let's see uh, so what is it here so app we have to add our ticker right so add our ticker dot add game loop just like that and we'll have a function game loop all right let's say it's a delta Okay, so now what we'll do is make them move, right? So we'll say player dot x plus equals, let's see, let's say 10. And we'll say enemy, let's say dot x minus equals 10. So they're gonna move towards each other, all right? So what happens now is just save this and see what happens. Go back to the browser and reload this. And there they go, they just kind of pass each other. Not very, not, you know, nothing happens. So now we have to detect if they hit each other, and uh, we'll have to basically provide a function to do that. So we'll basically create a function called rex intersect. We'll pass in a a and b. Uh, uh, so two objects we'll check, right? So we'll say let let a, uh, and we're gonna do a bounding box check. So we'll say a dot box a box equals a dot get bounds. All right, so we'll get the round boundary rectangle of the first uh, sprite that comes in, and we'll get the second one, B dot get bounds. Okay, and so we're gonna basically sim simply do a return, a boolean return, of if a box dot x plus a box dot width, all right, if it's greater than uh, the B box uh, dot x, and the a box dot x is less than b box dot x plus b box dot width and a box dot y. So we're going to check all let's check all the corners if a is intersecting with b at all. So a box dot height here then b box dot y and a box dot y is less than b box dot y plus b box dot height. All right, so it's going to basically do this as a check and return true or false based upon whether the whether the positionals and of the of our first one intersects anywhere with the second one. Okay, and so we'll basically simply do a if rects intersect as a player with enemy. All right, 
Then we'll just simply set this. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to turn this into speed. So this will be just an easy test here. Easy. And then we'll say, uh, let speed equals 10. And we'll just set speed equals 0. So everything stops. Okay. So that will save this. Go back to here. And we'll see that if we re reload this again, control R. That's pretty fast. You can't see it. Let's just go and change this to like five, like say four. There we are. So there you are. So it's a little bit more visible to see. They definitely moved. Interestingly, see, interesting enough, they moved pretty quick over. They almost didn't start at the edges, but um, so we see that they actually moved themselves and they stopped moving because they collided. So that's a real basic, basic rectangular uh, based. Uh, bounds check to see if something intersects. The routine here is not pixel precise and uh, you'll have issues with uh, circular type objects and stuff like that but you know, like I said it is a basic simple collision thing you can use for your game.